What happens when you bring two superconductors together? Do they attract each other? Do they repel? Or do they just do nothing? We know that when you have two magnets, they attract each other when the opposite poles are facing each other. And they repel each other when the same poles are facing each other. But what about superconductors? Well, first let's see how the superconductor responds to a magnet. You can see that it's strongly diamagnetic. It's repelled from the magnet. And it doesn't matter which side of the magnet I'm using, it equally repels it. In fact, superconductors are perfect diamagnetics. This effect is called the Meissner effect. The magnetic flux is completely expelled from the superconductor. But actually, the type I have here is called a type 2 superconductor. So there are actually little holes that allow the magnetic flux lines to penetrate at certain locations. This makes it not perfectly diamagnetic like a type 1 superconductor. And also, if you force the superconductor and magnet close together past a certain distance, then it will now lock in place. It holds it right where it is. This is happening because when I moved the magnet close to the superconductor, it caused a current to flow inside the superconductor that repels the magnetic field. This current flows indefinitely and exactly opposes the magnetic field caused by the magnet. To get it to move out of this location, I have to do some work and push on it. And you can actually feel some resistance to it. And then it can move closer or further away. And if you don't push hard enough, it just kind of springs back in place. But now back to our original question. What happens when we have two superconductors? And before we see what happens, I'd like to thank our sponsor for this video, AG1. AG1 is a comprehensive nutritional beverage that serves every single athlete in physical demand, no matter how busy your schedule is, or whether you eat keto, paleo, vegan, dairy-free, or gluten-free. It contains dairy-free probiotics that protect your gut, plus naturally occurring enzymes that bolster the digestive process. I've been taking AG1 every day and it makes me feel great knowing that I'm getting the vitamins and nutrients that I need. Each scoop of AG1 is nine health products in one, giving you the equivalent of a multivitamin, minerals, probiotics, and more. AG1 provides nutrients and phytonutrients that support and sustain healthy energy levels. If you want to try out AG1 for yourself, tap my link to get one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D3, K2, and five travel packs free with your first purchase. Remember, you can't put a price tag on your health. Now let's get back to our experiment. So first, let's see if we just take these two superconductors and move them close to each other. You can see nothing happens. That's because neither of these by themselves are producing any magnetic flux. So they don't have any effect on each other. But I can actually make some residual current that keeps going in the superconductor by moving my magnet close and then pulling it away. Now once the superconductor has the magnetic field, if I move the other superconductor near it, it now repels it due to its diamagnetic properties. You can see it's slightly floating on the surface here. So I basically made it so that the superconductor is slightly magnetic, and that's why it can affect the other superconductor now. Now let's see if we can lock both the superconductors in series together with my giant magnet. Whoa, look how cool this looks. It's like an invisible string holding them all together. So cool. Whoa. <laughs> look how cool this is. That is so crazy. Look, this one moves completely independent from this one. They're completely independent from each other. That is so cool. This is one of the coolest effects I've ever seen. It's so weird to see two superconductors that look like they're being held by an invisible string, but somehow those invisible strings can pass through each other.
And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you learned something. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.